What are you gonna be for as Halloween? Because it's tonight. I'm not gonna go out at all. I'm gonna sit home and be a fucking adult. Does it please you being so boring? I think it's great. I'm gonna have some wine. My wife's gonna have some cheese, maybe some crackers. But you're probably gonna be out, what, with in your Dracula costume with your fucking dick hanging out? Is that what you're gonna do? Exhibitionist the Dracula? No, I got in trouble for that. It's mostly, I call the cops. That's mostly me. No, I'm gonna be guy with a gun. I'm gonna go around and ask people for candy with this. I'll point it at them, possibly sideways. But probably not a good idea. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be naked while I do it too. I figure the problem with exhibition is Dracula was that just just my dick was out. I figure if I'm fully unclothed, you know, I'll be like a nudist colony robber. Where'd you get this desk at? It came with the house. Number ten, Octodad. How the fuck doesn't anyone see this guy is an octopus in a suit? Therein lies the humor in it. It's absurdist, Steve. He has human kids, though. This is more retarded than Superman running around in a crappy J.C. Penny suit and glasses. This guy doesn't even wear glasses. Octodad just makes you so mad. I love it. I know, it's weird. I mean, it looks like a fun, goofy game, but I hate him so much. Maybe I just hate all the people around him for not knowing he's an octopus. Number nine. The Gentleman. From Monaco, what's yours is Steve's. Yeah, he's the smuggler you meet early in the game, and he's got a dope-looking beard I think, and that's pretty much it. This game is pretty light on the character stuff. Yeah, pretty much. His main ability is to disguise himself, like, permanently. So, yeah, there you go, I guess. Yeah, he sounds like a Dana Carvey-level master of disguise to me. Number eight! Ezio! This is one I never, ever understood. How does Ezio manage to blend into small groups of people to avoid detection and still, you know, go all 187 on people? Well, obviously his hideous sore thumb hoodie makes him the ultimate master of subterfuge, Steve. I'm not sure what you mean by the word subterfuge, but in Revelations, Ezio also gets to hunt Templars in this loot-playing Renaissance Fair cosplayer getup. Perhaps we have Ezio all wrong, Steve. Rather than an assassin, I think he's just a confused LARPer. And when he's stateside, he loves himself a good Civil War reenactment. Number seven! You! Me? Yeah, you! If you're playing Grand Theft Auto V, not only does the storyline in GTA V allow you to don any number of guises for the holy trinity of Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. But that's carried over to GTA Online where you get ma 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 masks. Yeah, you can rob a convenience store with a pig face mask and then rob it again with a hockey mask and no one knows the difference. Yeah, given how creepy the actual faces are in GTA Online, we'd suggest using them masks. Yes. I mean, look at me. Yeah. On the other hand, you know, if you go to certain Walmarts in the country... It's kind of that way in real life as well. Number six! Jacket! Speaking of animal masks, Hotline Miami was last year's big violent indie title that everyone absolutely loved. And it involved Jacket donning various disguises, mainly animal masks and letting copious amounts of blood. Yeah, you know they called him Jacket because in the game, he wore a jacket. Yeah, Steve, I do know that. You're not the only one who knows about games. I know do stuff too. Number five! Princess Zelda! This one was a shocker, you know, from Ocarina of Time, largely because, you know, Sheik looked like a guy. Yeah, but a fairly ambiguous one. I'm just saying, look, if the princess really wanted a trick Link, she could have disguised herself as Iron Sheik. I am a princess, take on and off, break his back, my come home, Number four. four. Alex Mercer! This prototype type guy can disguise himself by shapeshifting into other people after consuming them. This would probably be my superpower of choice if I got to choose one. Mainly, I would just disguise myself as a woman and look at my boobs and my privates. Mine would be voluntary insomnia, so I didn't have to sleep and my brain would still be cool. Sounds like you'd be very productive. Mm Mm-hmm. That and invisibility, so I can take naps in private. Uh... But you just said... I just want to have options, man. You want to still enjoy a nap, but not have to take one if you don't want to. Number three! The Spy! Team Fortress 2's The Spy has a disguise kit, which lets him blend into other classes and shank people with impunity. He can also play dead and spring up on unsuspecting opponents. Speaking of dead, I saw a Billy Mays commercial the other day. It's very disconcerting when those are still on TV. Yeah, they're still running them? Yeah. He seems so trustworthy, too. He really did. Number two. Solid Snake. Solid Snake here is the absolute epitome of a true connoisseur of disguise. 
His octo-camo suit literally blends him in with his environs. And he claimed the gnome an Iroquois Pliskin when he aided Raiden in Sons of Liberty. He couldn't just call himself Bob, for goodness sake. No, man, he has to be all dramatic, Ugh. even with his catfish name. He also disguises himself as a box by walking around in a box. Number one! Agent 47! Being a hitman, I mean a real hitman and not just a dream hitman from a memory or whatever Desmond Wiles is doing in his animus, means you have to be a true pro at the art of disguisings. To wit, Agent 47 from the Hitman games is exactly that. Stealthily rolling up on fools and donning their gear makes for swift, clean, professional kills. Not quite as satisfying as going in guns blazing, though. You do like big, dumb, and loud. Hey, look, man. I am how God made me. But you're not religious. I am how not God made me. Give me, some, give me a candy. You're gonna go out and get your ass arrested. You're probably gonna get a finger in your butt somehow. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen knowing you. Maybe a Kit Kat.